Hello guys, uh, today I am going to discuss about GZ curve, statical stability, dynamic stability and damage stability. I am sure you all already have come across those terms but here today I am going to do a in-depth discussion about those terms to explain actually what are those terms really is. So now I will go, go to the GZ curve directly here as you can see here GZ curve from the gz curve we can get uh, the uh, we can get some of the information so here you see this horizontal axis representing angle of hills and the vertical axis representing writing river that is gz so <clears throat> here you uh, some of the information we can get so number one information the angle of vanishing stability yes you see 98 degree here here the gz is zero so as the gz zero the stability is zero so the stability vanishes that's why it is angle of vanishing stability and from here the gz starts to increase as the vessel starts starts to heal so if, uh, from here it's increasing 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 and here it is maximizes and here reducing and here finally become zero so from here to here this is the range of stability from 0 to 98 degree this is the range of stability and as this here is the maximize so this value is the maximum gz okay and another information is that if we draw a tangent line tangent line here and at 57.3 degree we draw another vertical and it will coincide here and draw another line here and this value this readout value will give you the initial gf so these are the information and another information we also can get this uh, this is called the diagage immersion diagage immersion we can get from uh, here this point because why as you can see if you zoom in or zoom out if you, you can see this curve is slightly like this here it is increasing uh, going this way and 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 from here it is going that way so this is called the point of intersection or counter inflexiation whatever point it is called so at this point you draw another tangent and the vertical here and this angle of hill value will represent the angle of diagage immersion okay so this uh, this is the gz curve so now we go to the stability statical stability statical stability actually is very uh, simple Statical stability of a ship at any angle of hill equal to displacement times gz at that angle of hill so and also we also know that the gz equal to uh, gm sin theta uh, if it is a small angle of hill if it is uh, more than 10 degree or more than 6 degree then we will have to use uh, we will have to use this formula actually uh, this formula is gz gz equal to uh, gm plus half half bm Ten square theta, ten square theta bracket sine theta. So this is the actually more accurate description of the GZ. Okay, and also another way we can get the GZ. This is the GZ equal to KN, KN minus kg sine hill. Okay, kg sine hill. So Kn, we all know that in the stability booklet, you'll get the Kn, uh, Kn value uh, at different angle of hill. And you also, if you know your Kg, then you can get the Kg sine hill value and the Kn minus Kg sine hill will give you the Gz at that angle of hill. And by this way, you can get the Gz and you t you multiply it by your displacement, then you get the static stability at that angle. This is very simple. So it's actually, you can also say in a simple term, it's actually vessel capability to make itself upright uh, when it is healed by an external force. Okay. So now we we'll go to the dynamical stability. Dynamical stability also we can find out from the GZ curve, but it's not that simple. The dynamical stability, you, you all have to understand that the uh, statical stability actually is a vector quantity because it had it it has got the directional properties. 
and yeah, okay so that's why it's it's a moment it's a moment it has uh, it, it has value and it has the directional property that's why it's a vector quantity but for the dynamical stability it is not the case okay dynamic stability is actually the scalar quantity and how we can get the dynamical stability if you see here you come at 10 degree here 10 degree you'll get a one gz value okay so at that gz value you multiply it by displacement okay then you'll get the 10 degree you'll you'll get the moment at 10 degree and also you can get the moment at 20 degree and you also can get a moment 11 degree you can get a moment 12 degree so and so forth and if you come until here say until here you find out all the moment all the moment all the moment and you 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 uh, add all those moment you add all those moment and this area and the summation of all the moments till this angle of hill maybe say 30 degree it's called the dynamical stability of a shifts until 30 degree okay so if you uh, so this is the actually summation of all the moments until a certain degree of hill so so uh, it's actually in a simple term it's the summation of total work done by an external force to heal a vessel up to a angle of hill so if you say 30 degree so to the work done required to make vessel heal to a 30 degree is called the dynamical stability of a vessel until 30 degree so it's a scalar quantity it's a, a summation of all moments it have no directional value okay so this is the dynamical stability so uh, dynamical stability and the uh, and also the difference if i show you the difference difference between statical stability and the dynamic stability one is moment and another is work okay the statical stability is moment dynamic stability is the work okay it's so simple and and another is that it is possible for statical stability to be same at two different value of angle of hill i mean it is possible that the the vessel statical stability at 10 degree may be same as the 50 degree maybe 50 degree also what is the statical stability maybe same will also can be at 10 degree but it is not impossible for the dynamical stability how can you understand if you come here you see if you come here the this slide and uh, this slide you go here you uh, you you come here you see here this is the gz value at 25 degree say this is the gz value at 25 degree so the here the statical stability is w into gz at 25 degree w into gz at 25 degree and also you come here come here you also get the same value same gz value so also w into gz maybe say 72 degree gz 72 degree so here what is the statical stability here also same statical stability so it is possible for statical stability to be same at different angle of hill but it is not possible for the dynamical stability because the work required to make vessel heal up to up to here 25 degree is the summation of the area total area till this till this into displacement and to make vessel heal until 72 degree you have to do all this work all this moment you have to cross and uh, and then you'll get you you can make this vessel heal to 72 degree that's why it is not possible to be same okay so how can we uh, calculate the dynamic stability it's very simple dynamic stability if you if you want to calculate dynamic stability say uh, say un until here so what you will do you will find out this area the gz area until here until here by the simpson's rules and then multiply it by the displacement then you get the dynamic stability till this angle of hill okay it's a very simple thing and also come uh, now uh, here about the damage stability in brief the stability when the vessel is damaged simple if the vessel is damaged what will be the residual stability that will be the damage stability so for the damage stability sometimes it is uh, it is pre-calculated for some scenario and it is actually real time calculated for some scenario if you want to if if you are going to start a new voice so you'll have to calculate the pre-damage 
pre-damaged condition. The class, the classification uh, society of your vessel will give you the sum damage cases, and you will have to calculate the uh, uh, damage stability for those cases. Where to check whether your vessel will comply with the damage stability requirement if the vessel experiences any damage.